Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Movie Trivia Face Off. I am the Dr. Frankenstein of Movie Trivia. My name is Alex, uh, and here, uh, apparently, my creation, well, it's alive. Uh, here with me, as per usual, is Spain's greatest trivia export. It is David the Spaniard Garcia. David, uh, real quick before we get started, thank you so much for letting me do this. Thank you to the whole ad of the admin team for letting me do this. I know it took quite a look bit of convincing. I also have a bunch of the testers I want to thank, specifically uh, limited to, but not including Jimmy, Andrew the Elk, uh, Jay Burns. Uh, who else did we have? We had a bunch of people. Uh, oh, Nico, Mark. Welcome. Mark. I don't know. Sure. No. Mark, Ryan. Ryan. Uh, Brian. Uh, Caleb. Uh, Tony Layton. for feature presentations. Adelaide. Nice yeah, everybody, everybody really helped, and I can't name everybody, but thank you so much. David, uh, it is the first in what I hope is a long series of continuous videos, the Geek Challenge Cup. Uh, I'm really excited. Why don't you introduce who we have today? So today we have Nico Schwaber Rigoli, a veteran of the fan list that you all know. He, yeah, and um, I think he he's right now the Chokeslam DNG champion. I, I am the Choke Slam debate champion of TMG Entertainment. I am in the top nine of Multiplexus Fandom Fights still somehow. Thank Christ. Um, and I am in somewhat of an annoyed mood after a rough day of my first day on a, a new job. So I'm kind of just hoping that things go well here. So I have something to go to sleep happy about. Sure. Well, I tell you, don't get your hopes up because we have the person who eliminated me in World War Geek, Trevor. The I don't know how that happened, but yeah, <laughs> uh, I have absolutely no confidence. I'm hoping to get just like that's, one question right, but who knows? Just that's the best way to come to a match. <laughs> <laughs> I'm younger than all of you. That's what I can tell everyone. So, <laughs> and we have Malcolm Gold Delay the runner of uh, Full Metal Random, and now Full Metal Classic, the Sunday one or the Thursday one? The Sunday one. The Sunday one. OK, so you guys know him. Malcolm, how are you doing? Uh, doing pretty good. I literally just woke up 10 minutes ago and ready to um, answer trivia. Called it. <laughs> <laughs> you actually did. We were, we were wondering. All right, so I know, Malcolm, Nico, you've actually tested this format. But for the folks at home, before we get started, I'm going to do a quick reading of rules of the rules for round number one. Round number one is the buy-in round. We will be asking you all 10 questions from randomly chosen categories. You might notice that some of the categories repeat. That's what the wheel chose. I'm not sorry. Uh, you will have around 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer. Uh, we will then ask you by name to reveal your answers. A correct answer gets you a point. An incorrect Answer, nothing happens. It, it's fine. Uh, but you're going to need all those points for the second round, so do try to get as many as possible. David, did I miss anything? We don't have a perfect round bonus question. Yeah, there is no uh, bonus round number one. If you get all 10 questions right, you will join a very exclusive list of Brian Michaels and Jay Burns, who have gotten all 10 questions correctly before. That's the prize. I'll think better of you. So let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yay! So, guys, uh, I will start because I am like the guest host here, I think. So, the, and because I just want to answer, uh, ask a question about the Star Wars. All right, so I'll be asking your questions. Can you send me the document you have? Yeah. Uh, what actor appears as Galen Ersto in Rogue One? No, this is not the. Send me the other one while you. <laughs> Thank you. Five, four. This guy three, has a name. Two. It sure does. One. All right. Hopefully, pens are down. Nico, Star Wars is one of your specialties. Do you get it? I have no idea if I spelled this right, but Mads Mickelson. All right. I'll go to Malcolm next. I didn't get it. All right. And Trevor? Mads Mickelson. Yep, I see two correct answers. All right, so your second question is in the category of DC EU. 
Where does Lois Lane finally get to talk to Clark Kent in Man of Steel? For the first time, I may not. Because, you know, I'm pretty sure they talk a lot in this movie. Yeah. So, yes. To avoid that challenge, five, four, three, two, one. Turns down and uh, Malcolm. Interior creation room. Uh, that is incorrect. Trevor. I have no clue. I just guessed the Daily Planet. Uh, Nico? I might have really gotten too specific with this. In a government holding facility at Area 51? Really oh. specific. Uh, super incorrect. Looking for Jonathan Kent's grave. Oh. oh. Yeah. Never it's all right, mind, though. Don't, don't worry about that. We're going to go... Uh, actually going to switch over to the DC. Category of DC. United Underworld terrorizes the United World Organization Security Council in what DC film? That's my watch. That's okay. Hard question alert. I guess. That's a, those, that's a cool name. United Underworld. Thank you. Five. I wrote this question myself. Three, two, one. Pens down. Um, Trevor. Just had to watch this for my podcast, Batman 1966. Yep. Nico? Have not seen 66 yet, so I went with red. And Michael? I just completely blinked. Trevor picking up the point. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how this happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your next I can't find a streaming service with Adam West's Batman. That's why. <laughs> your next category comes in the category of Middle Earth. Oh, okay. What does Gandalf give to Thorin in Bilbo's house in An Unexpected Journey? So, Alex, have you ever gone into An Unexpected Journey? Literally, th that's all Geek Challenge Cup is. I didn't think I'd have to do it, and then I started doing it, and then people really liked it. I actually literally yeah. went into an unexpected... Yep. I will save that joke for the repeat. What does Gandalf give to Thorin in Bilbo's house in an unexpected journey? So a friend of mine called me at uh, 8 p.m. a year ago because he had to go to a job interview in a five-hour drive. Mm. And we had like, a, I don't know, maybe eight hours to get there. So, yeah, that was a fun day. He paid for everything. I, okay, made, him, I made him pay a Five, restaurant. Four, three, two, one. Nico, not looking confident? It was either some sort of mystical object that wasn't the ring or the Arkenstone or a thing of food or drink. I wrote a potato. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Malcolm? Um. I'll probably get myself to get this one, but I put map. And Trevor. I don't know. I I put down a contract. You probably can't see it. My uh, marker is dying. I I Done trust it. your answer. We were looking for a key into the lonely mountain. Oh, here. Let me grab another marker, quick. Yep. That's okay. All right. Your next question. David got to ask one. Now I get to do it. Star Wars. I really didn't. Didn't didn't you? Go ahead. Oh, no, I did. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually that's fair. I'm gonna take all the Star Wars questions. Who plays Sabe, chief decoy to Queen Amidala in The Phantom Menace? You know, I really like the names of the uh deco of the of the handmaidens. Sure. They are like an alphabet. You can make an alphabet of handmaiden names. How, how very um Put in alphabet. handmaiden's tale of you. That's very nice. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Last episode of this show, uh, Trevor. <laughs> okay, well, I grabbed a red marker on the Norns board, but they put down Kira Knightley. That'll do. And uh, Malcolm. Kira Knightley. On the board. And Nico. Her doppelganger, Kira Knightley. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Like that. I just watched the Pirates of the Caribbean ones. So, see. That's right. Nice. All right, next question. In the category of Wizarding World, what is the name of the deadly plant that nearly kills Ron in the Philosopher's Stone? I maintain I, it would have been a better franchise if he had died. No. Uh. <laughs> I actually I actually am a Ron defender uh. because I think people don't really appreciate what Ron represents in the Harry Potter franchise. Which is what? I mean, we all have a best friend that we have a lot of ups and downs. And you Ron have, on the first count. Five. If you have read the books, you will understand. Three, two, one. Uh, pets down. Oh, God, I'm lonely. Uh, Nico. <laughs> I think I have the wrong adjective. I wrote wailing willow, like wailing punches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Malcolm. It's the devil's snare. And Trevor. Took me a minute to pull it, but devil snare. Yep. Yep. Trevor had no confidence going in. Somehow in the lead. Still have no confidence. <laughs> <laughs> Well, right. bets, I mean, I'm going to shut up. Uh, it's your question. Uh, it sure is. Marvel. Who is Jean Grey's first victim in Dark Phoenix? Did not watch this movie. Don't recommend you're not it. Missing, no, you're not missing much. But you know. Maybe like a... Who is... Your first victim. Who is my first victim or who will be my first victim? Who is your first victim? Oh, God. What was his name? Dylan Ward, I think. Oh, right. <laughs> my first victim. Five. Four, I mean, sure. three. Two. I'm not sorry. One. Uh, Malcolm. Cyclops. Trevor. Didn't guess and said her dad. Ooh. And uh, you're very close. You're you're danger close, Nico. I almost put her dead. Oh crap! I think I'm wrong now. Um, I wrote Mystique, but when she was a child, her mom got killed in the car accident. Was the mom? Didn't she? Crap! Oh crap! Yep. yep. Crap. The mom. <laughs> I knew there was the car accident from the comics, and it picked the wrong one. Yeah. By the way, Cyclops is killed kind of off screen on the other awful. Phoenix. Oh, um, yeah, um, I, I mixed them up <laughs> on my head. <laughs> I realized what I did wrong. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Next question comes in the category of scores and soundtracks. How many Superman movies did Ken Thorne compose the score for? Ken Thorne. What question number is this? Uh, this is question number eight out of ten in the first round. Yep, I was going to say question 18. I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> long first round. All right. Been a long day for David. <laughs> Truly has. I spent six hours watching Netflix. Four, three, two, one. Pens down and Malcolm, I think. No. Yeah, anyway, Malcolm. It's a two. Trevor? Took a guess, said two. Um, Nico? I also said two. Yeah, that's correct. Yep. All correct. Oh, well. All right. Oh, uh, I should not have picked this question. Star Trek is next. My weakness. What is the name of the Enterprise crew member that is taken by V'ger and returned to take information of the Enterprise? So this movie... In, in which movie is... Uh, the motion picture. Okay, yeah. This movie is bizarre. Boring, but bizarre. So boring. It was really weird because it was the I'd only ever seen the the Kelvin timeline. Yeah. So when I watched the first, I was like, what is happening? Right? I don't like this at all. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh Nico. Um, I I Leah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you for phonetic the pronunciation down, down at the <laughs> Yeah, that's loads of fun. Uh, uh, Trevor. Also, just watch this movie for my podcast, Aaliyah. All right, podcast coming in handy, Malcolm. I just need spot. 
No, looking for Ilea. Yep. They were doing really well. Yep. <laughs> I still don't know what's happening. Okay, your next category is in comic book adaptations. Prince Nuada Silverlands is played by what actor in Hellboy 2, The Golden Army? That is a dick question if I have ever seen one. Um, I, and I have a dick response. Can I please get a, a technical repeat from Alex on this one? Because I, I can absolutely do that. David said uh, the name. Sure. Prince Nuada Silverlands is played by what actor in Hellboy 2, The Golden Army? Still a big question, though. Is it the villain of the movie? Still a big question. Well, oh. you know what? I'll fire my question writer. Let's do it. I don't like that guy. Five, Five. four, three, two, one. Pens down. Ah, Trevor. I have absolutely no clue, so I said the first actor that popped into my head, Channing Tatum. <laughs> Ooh, that that would have been a choice. <laughs> I'd watch it, though. i kind of watch it. Yeah, right? Nico. Rami Malik. Ooh, I'd also watch that. I'd watch yeah. that, too. I know. Malcolm. I want to fake it. Squialmo del Toro making a cameo. No, no. Oh. That's also incorrect. That would be also really weird, but cool. We're looking yeah. for Luke Goss. Sure. Yeah, that sure, guy. Absolutely. Oh, also, David, uh, I used one of my repeats. Yeah. You, yeah. True. So. Yeah, Luke Goss, star of One Night with the King, if anybody remembers that movie. No, I don't. And with Death that, Ring. we finished the first round with Trevor with six points, Malcolm with three, and Nico with four. Now we enter the second round. So, Alex, why don't you remind them of the rules and how to win this thing? Yeah, absolutely. Round number two is the final round. It is the winning round. It is the betting round. During round number two, you'll be given a category. You'll have a few seconds to write down a points wager based on how confident you are in that category. Uh, then we'll ask you by name to turn your boards around and, <laughs> and reveal your bet. You'll then be given the question. Given around 15 seconds to answer the question, we'll again call you by name to reveal your answers. If you get it right, you will get the same amount of points that you bet. If you get it wrong, you will lose that amount of points that you bet. Uh, if you hit zero, if you're the only one to hit zero on a question, don't worry, you're not out of it. Uh, you just have to answer a question correctly to get a point back. If two players hit zero on, uh, on the same question, then the third person who still has points will win by knockout. The goal of the game is to get to 21. That is the domination win. If we go all 25 questions, God help us all. If we go all 25 questions, the person with the highest points at the end of it will win by decision. Uh, Trevor, you have two repeats. Everyone else still has three. Anybody have any questions? Perfect. Nope. Uh, yes. Why is Gamora? <laughs> oh, do you want better? Who is Gamora? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'll leave you guys hanging. All right, Alex, take it. Yeah. Your first question will come from the category of comic book adaptations. You can place the bets between zero and five if you guys have five points, obviously. And it's important to note that this is the only category, comic book adaptations, that I'm going to go off the geek tacular movie script. So the movies list doesn't necessarily apply to comic book adaptations. Okay, bet scene five, four, three, two, one. Nico, what did you bet? Uh, Nico? Well, when Nico sorts out... Uh, I am betting zero, and do you mind if I hop out and hop back in? My connection's getting weird. Yeah, sure. go on. Uh, yeah, we'll get. we'll wait for you. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. Sure. Go ahead. Trevor, points for comic book adaptations. Zero. Fair enough. And Malcolm? I'm taking a chance on put one. Sure. 
All right, we'll wait for Hiko to sort some stuff out. Not taking any chances. I'm perfectly happy with my six points. <laughs> <laughs> ah. I mean, when, by knowing, knowing when, when to bet zero is kind of the key for this. So, all right. Better? Okay, so who's betting? Who's betting uh, on? You were waiting on, on your bet, right? No, oh, Nico bet zero. 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 Perfect. Trevor bet zero and Malcolm bet one. All right, this question, uh, we're going to send a little bit of a shout out to our good friend Adelaide over at Opening Night, <laughs> Opening Night Trivia. Because uh, your question, what two powers does Scott obtain in the fights with Gideon Graves in Scott Pilgrim versus the world? So Alex, if you could obtain two powers, what would those be? Uh, the power of smoldering good looks. Okay. And the power of killing anybody that I wanted to. Without repercussions? Yep. Okay, nice. Five, four. I have a few ideas. Three, <laughs> two, one. Pants down. And Malcolm. I completely blanked on the second one. Um, I just put so, sort of self respect as one. But... All right. Trevor, for stats. Didn't even try. Thank God I bet zero. Okay. And. Um, Nico? Uh, the power of rock and roll and the power of love. So if we put Nico and Malcolm's answers uh, together, that would be correct. Looking for the power of love and the power of self-respect, Malcolm does lose the point in there. Yep, Malcolm loses the point. Wait, love was actually right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was that was a total joke answer. I mean, oh. he was fighting for the love of um, Ramona, so it makes sense. <laughs> yep. All right, so... Your next question comes in the category of DC EU. What does Arthur's father talk? Wait, wait, wait. We're, are we supposed to oh, bet? Oh, we gotta bet. We gotta bet. <laughs> it's the first episode, David. <laughs> I mean, sorry. Okay, bets. I can come up with a new question if you want. No, it's fine. Uh, bets in three, two, one. Malcolm. I bet zero. Fair enough. I think you uh, have to see Aquaman. Nico? Nico? I don't like Aquaman very much, so zero. Fair <laughs> enough. Trevor. Zero. Well, this question means nothing. Zero. Fair. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, just for, for stats and fun. Uh, your okay. question. What does Arthur's father, Tom, buy Aquaman for breakfast in, you guessed it, Aquaman? What's your dream breakfast? So if you could wake up every day and have something for breakfast, what would it be? Uh, whiskey and pancakes. Okay. That's not bad, I guess. In five, four, three, two, one. Pants down. And Trevor. Just put down eggs. No. Nico? Alcohol. Well, you bet zero, so Malcolm. <laughs> um, I put pancakes. Well, sure. uh, uh, if you guys, guys, if you guys can let me go quick, I have to grab a charger. Laptop's about to die. Okay, yeah, cool. let me just hop out quick. So while we're waiting, we were looking for weirdly again. Nico's the closest. Uh, we're looking for beer. So go alcohol. To we could have taken <laughs> alcohol. I, I actually almost... intended to have accepted alcohol. But... I mean, I almost wrote beer, but I was like, eh, <laughs> what kind? Are you looking for a specific kind? Or... So I just put alcohol to be broad as hell. And apparently that was right. <laughs> well, we're going to be here for a while if nobody starts betting points. We call this the old Tony Heald strategy of betting nothing and letting everybody else wipe themselves out. Shout out to Tony from Future Presentations. Happy birthday. Maybe I should start betting stuff now. Maybe. David, we've been recording for 20 minutes, but we did a whole hour before this. <laughs> I'm sick of your face already. <laughs> David, stop making faces at the camera. Your next question. 
comes from the category of the MCU, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, and it's your question to ask. Yep. Noticed. All oh, right, bets. Yep, Again. bets in three, two, one. Malcolm. I bet two. All right, Trevor. Taking a risk, I'm going three. Ooh. Nico. Going two. Fair enough. Good your, your question. What is the name of the comatose state that Odin falls into in Thor? Right to the boards. Yeah. That's what I like to see. These people bet points in this one. I like to see people writing on the boards, and I like to see that faraway look in someone's face when they're trying to get the question right. And they're like, ah, I should know it. What have I done? <laughs> yeah. You love it when I do it. Five, yeah. four, three, two, especially with your questions. One, yeah. pens down. Uh, Trevor. Second guessing myself now, I put down Odin sleep. Three points. Nico. I also put the Odin sleep. Okay. And Malcolm? Odin sleep. All Oof. correct. Well done. So Malcolm gains two points, Nico gains two points, and Trevor gains three points. That's how it's All right, your next question comes in the category of Wizarding World. What spell? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Right, 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 right. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Again. Okay, I'm going to ask all the questions. No, from... you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I could kick you out right now and do the show. <laughs> Love to see that. It'd be hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Okay, bets in three, two, one. Uh, Malcolm. Three points. Ooh, to a scared to go all in. Nico? Yes, for a better judgment, I'm going one. Um, Trevor? Going more conservative, I have two. Okay. Now, what spell does Jimmy use to destroy a training dummy in the Room of Requirement in the Order of the Phoenix? Looking for a spell. I'm pretty sure it's not bbd bbdi poo I put a spell on you. Because Ooh. you're mine. I actually know what movie that's from. You would know. Uh, I don't know how to take that. <laughs> Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Pens are hopefully down. I'll start with Trevor this time. It's a something hex or... Something like that. <laughs> All right, Malcolm. With that though. And Nico. I just wrote the word eliminate, hoping that was a spell somehow. <laughs> I'll have to fact check that, but I was in fact looking for reducto. Well done, Malcolm. <laughs> nice job. Oh, big swing there. Yep, now Malcolm is pretty strongly in second. All right, your next question. Category is Middle Earth. Well, Malcolm bet three, so he's tied right now, actually. No. The lead. He only had three before, I thought. Or did he? Malcolm, did you bet three or, or two or three points? Um, I bet three for. Oh, he bet three. Room. Yeah, he's tied. Yes, yes. Oh. I thought he bet two. Sorry. What's the category now? Middle Earth. I, I see uh, Malcolm grinning, so he may bet big on this one. Up to five. In five, four, three, two, one. Bets, Malcolm. Uh, depending on which part, I put just put three. It's fair. Nico? Uh, big fat, zero. And Trevor? Doing the same as Nico, zero. Okay, okay. so this, this is a big question for Mr. Malcolm here. Your question... What do Gandalf and company find Merry and Pippin doing at the start of Return of the King? Right to the board. This could be a big moment for Malcolm in the match. Could take the lead here. So I'm <laughs> glad I bet zero. Not a Middle <sighs> Earth fan, Trevor? 
I've seen them. <laughs> Three, two, well, that's what really matters. One, bands are down. Uh, Trevor for pride? I have no pride. Blank. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, Nico, because you have your mouth full. No, no, Malcolm. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> and Malcolm for three big points. I put smoking. I think we can accept that. We were looking for one of a few answers. Drinking, smoking, or eating. Okay. Yep. So Malcolm gets three points. And oh. takes the lead. Now, your category is DCEU. Done. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Nope. Not happening. Not again. All right. Bets in three, two, one. Starting with Malcolm. I'm happy the lead. I just beat zero. Fair enough. Trevor? Going against my better judgment, I put one. Probably a huge mistake. Okay. And Nika? I'm going two. Okay. Ooh. Nico making a play for it. Uh, oh, wow. Your question. What is the sign? What? Hey. Oh, fine. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> what is the sign of invasion that the Amazons used to warn Diana in Justice League? What do they do to warn Diana that an invasion is coming? I will just probably go out and run around with a bell or something, so people could probably think I'm crazy more than they usually do. I'd call her. Or that. She has a job, you know where she works. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens are hopefully down. And we go to Malcolm. I'm glad I beat zero. I just put, they dance the can can. <laughs> 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 cool. Uh, Nico. Do they sound a horn? And um, Trevor? Yeah, I should have bet zero. I just put they send a message. Technically speaking, uh sure, but looking <laughs> for the set of fire of the Amazon shrine. Oh, I mm, I thought about that and it did not stick in my brain. Damn it. Nico loses Damn two, it. Nico loses one, and that makes Malcolm's lead even more commanding. So, yeah. Malcolm yeah. doing very well for himself. Your next category is scores and soundtracks. I'm just going to say right now, I'm betting zero. I need to let my dog outside again. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. So, so three, two, one. Nico's betting zero. Trevor. Gonna opt to bet one again. Hopefully, it doesn't bite me. And sure, uh, Malcolm. I'm also betting zero. All right, okay. so that's one for one point. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, your question: In Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One, what song do Peter and Gamora briefly dance to before Gamora holds a knife to Quill's throat? Oh. Why can't you just ask who composed it? Well, that would be the easy one, and Alex doesn't do easy. <laughs> You're right, Trevor. We've never met. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch! What is the title of this song? Um, Don't ask me. I clearly do not know. Five, four, three, two, one. No repeats. All right, I'll start with Malcolm. I bet zero and got nothing. Fair enough. Uh, Trevor? I clearly need to start betting zero. I just put down hooked on a feeling. It's a good guess. Definitely in the movie. And Nico? I'm going to be so mad when you say the answer. And the, what What is it? Looking for it, fooled around and fell in love. Damn it. Tyler yep. Bates did the score. Well... And Trevor goes down to five points, and your next category is Star Wars. Oh, Nico went right to the board. Remember, guys, you can bet up to five points if 
you have those five points. Bets in three, two, one. Malcolm. I just bet one. Nico. I'm betting the house three. Ooh, all in. And Trevor? I went with two. Okay. And your question. Name one movie where you can find the clone oddball. Terrible line read. Terrible line read. <laughs> I mean, you actually wrote the question wrong, so I had to improvise. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Oddball. That's an interesting name. It's not Fives or Echo or all those clones we love. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Malcolm. The Cardinals? Nico? Uh, he's the pilot in Revenge of the Sith during the opening battle. And Trevor? Cut down the Clone Wars. Both are correct. Clone Wars oh, and Revenge of okay. the Sith are correct. Whew. He is the panic clone, as I call him. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you liked that last question because we are going to stay in the category of Star Wars. Yep. And beware, because I'm pretty sure I know where Nico and <laughs> Nico's betting now. Bets yep. in three, two, one. Malcolm. I'm just bidding one. Fair enough. Trevor? Might be a horrible mistake. I've been betting three. Okay. And Nico? I'm trying to make a comeback six. No, Nico, five. Can bet six. Five. Five. Oh. Five. <laughs> sorry, sorry. In which case? I, I, yeah, five. Okay, five. There you go. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> trying to slip it past us. I see you over there. Um, your question. Anfis Nest is the leader of what group in Solo A Star Wars Story? Alex, you had a group of people. What would you call them? The Gothics? Yeah, probably. Okay, cool. Club glo club goers. The <laughs> VIP. The goth mob. The goth mob. The I goth win. Yeah. Goth mob. That's it. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. No repeats. Okay. Um, um, Nico. The Cloud Riders. Trevor? I, I put Crimson Dawn. That's right. Yeah. And Malcolm. I put the Marauders. Got them mixed up. Crap. I think we actually can accept the Marauders as well. Yes. Both They're Cloud Riders and the Marauders. Rider, the Marauders and the Cloud Riders. Nico with the big comeback. Yep, but Malcolm betting one very smartly was able to keep himself in the lead. Well, that's unfortunate for Trevor because he yeah, just got him mixed up in my head. It's all right. You can still come back. Well, you can come back in the category of Marvel movies. Marvel movies. There is a lot of crap in there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is actually true. I, mean, I don't know why he goes laughing. It's just facts. I mean, five. You four, don't like three, Rise two, of the Silver Surfer. Oh, you no, know you don't. I mean, I will name a lot of Marvel movies that are worse than that. Malcolm. One. Nico. Since I have points to bet, let's try two. And Trevor? Throwing a zero and hoping they're missing. Okay, that's a nice strategy. It's not bad. Good question. Hopefully. In Logan, what does Laura find Logan has been keeping since his escape from the Weapon X facility? Also, by the way, I said Laura. Probably should have said Laura. But Laura is actually how it's said. So, you know. Is this one of the garbage ones you were talking about? Yes. Terrible. Oh. Awful. Ugh. Five, four, 
three, two, one. But a few of the garbage ones feature this character. Thanks down. Uh, Trevor? Didn't, didn't oh. put anything. And Malcolm? I knew I should have watched Logan yesterday. I put dog tags. And Nico? An adamantium bullet. That's Nailed it. Right. Oh, and Nico has done it. Nico has made a comeback and it's in the league. Yep. Yay! And I hope you liked that last category because we're going to stay in Marvel movies. <laughs> you know, that wheel, that category wheel of yours, it's weird. Right? Yep. We didn't spin writer's pick once. It was just... That sucks for you. Yeah. I'll just put away my questions about Hercules or whatever. <laughs> okay, bets in three, two, one. Malcolm. Um, I put two. Ooh, going bigger than last time. Nico. Let's try two again and see what happens. And Trevor. So I'm sticking with the same strategy of zero. Cool. Love it. Love Your it. question. What triggers the transformation back from the Ghost Rider to Johnny Blaze? In Ghost Rider. In Once Ghost again, Rider. happy, I bet zero. Yep. I've seen someone win with this exact strategy, by the way, Trevor. This is 100%. This is 100% valid. I, yeah. I have kind of the feeling that we are going to go to a win by decision. Nothing wrong with that. I, no, I don't. Three. No, stay two. outside. Stay outside. One. You heard him, Alex. Stay outside. <laughs> uh, Malcolm, bets? I wish I'd bet zero. I mean, bets, no answers. I put fire extinguisher. <laughs> Nico? Uh, the sun rises. And Trevor? I'm sure you can guess what I wrote. Nothing. Okay. There's actually, the sun rises or sunlight is correct. Oh, Nico goes up, and Malcolm goes down. Your next category is comic book adaptations. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Did you brush your teeth, young man? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One bends down and Malcolm bet. I bet three. Whoa, uh, Malcolm, I mean, Nico, not as confident, but I'm gonna bet one. Okay, and Trevor, zero. <laughs> Love it. All right, so at this point, I'm just praying. <laughs> Your question. What kind of food is used as a test to see if someone is a dedo? Dido in R I P T. Looking for a nationality here. Yeah. What type of food? I'm really liking this bed and zero strategy. I don't have to answer questions. I have no clue. Well, shout out! Shout out to Tony Hill, the originator of this. Bet it nothing. I should have probably started sooner when I was in the lead. So how do you pronounce that? Dido, dedo, 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 okay. like dedo. Yeah, yeah, but you have to say it with uh, with Jeff Bridges' accent. Dedo. I don't do accents except mine, which is already Awful. an accent. Repeat, so. repeat the question. Yep. All right. Uncle's first repeat. Yep. In comic book adaptations, what kind of food is used as a test to see if someone is a Dedo in R I P D. So you said you're looking for nationality? Yeah. I'm locking in my answer, but I gotta let the dog back in. So. Okay. You are infuriating. You just appreciate how dangerously close Nico is to winning this match. Yep. Five, four, three. Another Star Wars question could do it. Two, one, pens down. And Trevor. Yeah, so I just put down France. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Malcolm? I was on the same line of thinking. I put down Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> and Nico? I was torn between Thai food and Indian food, and I wrote down Indian food. Well, it's Thai food. Damn it! How much did he bet? Two? Well, I bet one. Yeah, one. Malcolm had three, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Trevor's strategy. Paying off. Paying yeah. off. He probably wished Nico would have bet a little higher. But well, there's always this question. DC is your next category. A lot of garbage here as well, honestly. Yeah, a lot of crap. Yeah. Yeah. And so which so okay, which category has the shittier movies? Marvel or DC? How like if you had to like make a balance? DC has Catwoman. DC has Catwoman, The Dark Knight Rises. Oh uh, Batman I mean, Forever. Watch Marvel if you think that's a shitty it. movie. Yeah, fan yeah. Marvel does have fan four stick. <laughs> Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. This guy added Disney Plus. Ah. It. Where, where does I, Howard the Duck stand on this scale? It's not great. Bits? But, but, but better than some of the crap. Malcolm? Bits? I put zero. Okay. Nico? I think I might be the only one taking a bet here. I'm going two. Um, you are not. I'm going to try with one. All right. I also, I also want to add a movie for DC Supergirl, guys. Supergirl. Ah, Supergirl. Superman for the quest for peace. It's not great. Honestly, DC. I if I had yeah. to eliminate one, yeah. I'd say DC. Yep. Yeah. So it's I think that's a great crap movie. movie category. Uh your question, who played the transformed Swamp Thing and Swamp Thing and Return of Swamp Thing? Really? <laughs> that is uh, another big question. Is it though? Uh, I said the category. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that doesn't make it less fun. <laughs> In Heroes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I should note that, David, when we really quickly tested these, you got this one right. I don't know that. <laughs> it is still a big question. I mean, the fact that I knew it doesn't really matter. It's still a lot. Yeah. Five. But Four. thank you for pointing that out. Because I didn't want to say it because it probably would just well, make me see. Look like a jerk? Yeah, I agree. Uh, Malcolm. He still looks like something today. It's Donald Trump, probably. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, Imaginary points. Uh, Trevor. It's clearly Al Pacino. Sure. Obviously. And <laughs> Nico. It's clearly a loss of two points for me. <laughs> right, so. I'm afraid so. Looking for Dick to rock. You know. Clear to the cat. Bed and zero. Now that I hear that out loud, do you know what duro means in Spanish? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Next question. In the category of Wizarding World. Um, I'm taking a big chance here. I'll put five. Ooh. Ooh. Swinging for it, Trevor. I put down two. All right, Nico. I'm going zero. <laughs> okay. This could be huge. Fair enough. Okay. In the category of Wizarding World, where is Helga Hufflepuff's cup destroyed in Deadly Hallows? Part two. Go five, four. Repeat. Yep. All right. Where? Is Helga Hufflepuff's cup destroyed in Deadly Hallows, part two? So, what do you take for Malcolm's, uh, you know? He's I, got it. He's, yeah. He, yeah. In five. 100% man spreading. <laughs> Speaking of man spreading, uh, Malcolm. <laughs> Chamber of Secrets. 
That's correct. Oh, I got them mixed up. And Nico? I had absolutely nothing. And um, Trevor? Again, I got them mixed up. I put down Godric's Hollow. In. That's a huge miss. But yeah, a big point pickup for Malcolm. Yeah. No. So, Trevor. See, this is what I was expecting more of on the scoreboard. <laughs> I can say that there are 10 questions left. So if you're going to make a play, now would be the time to do it. Yep. Uh, your next category, I don't know if this is going to be helpful, scores and soundtracks. You know what? Screw it. I'll say for the purposes of, of betting, uh, I don't think you're in danger of the knockout loss. You have one point. Might as well. Yeah. Might as well bet. In five, four, three, two, one. Malcolm bets. I put zero. zero. Nico? Since the scores and soundtracks, I'm going to sing it. Zero. And Trevor? Yeah, whatever. I'm putting one. Okay. He <laughs> might have read this one. All right. Your question. Who composed the score for the Lego Batman movie? Yep, that's. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I said that wrong. The Lego Batman movie. <laughs> Lego. Not I... Was this in my Lego Full Metal Random match? No, I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Malcolm. Anything? Um, I just put down the composer's name of it, Rupert Grigson Williams. That is a composer. Oh, it is, Nico. I put down Michael Giacchino. That is another composer. Also a composer. Uh, not that it matters, I took a guess. James Horner. That's also a composer. Also a composer. Really? Also incorrect. Looking for Lauren Balfe. <sighs> I mean, Trevor seems to know him. I've heard the name. Okay, your next category is DC. Again. So I don't have to bet. It's just if I get it right, I yeah, get, get it right. You get it back on one point. Okay. So well, tanky. this should be fun. At least I won round one. That's true. You had a pretty yeah. good coming out of round one. I'm very impressed. That's right, six. Just really yeah. bad at I mean. Team three, two, one. Malcolm. Um, I just beat zero. Uh, Nico? I'm going to try and increase my lead. I'm going one. All right. Then I yeah. Your question. The actress, Valerie Page, whose flat always smelled of roses, appears in what DC movie? Can I get a repeat on that due to accent-related reasons? I, I can do that. The actress, Valerie Page whose flat always smelled of roses, appears in what DC movie? Thank you. I apologize, David. It, it's just I don't have ears that understand foreign accents very well. Is that a thing? Yes, it's a thing. Okay. I can't understand Cuban Spanish. Really? It's so difficult. It's like they're speaking like Italian with a Spanish accent. I don't understand it at all. Five, four, three. Let me get a repeat, please. Yep, that's your first. The actress, Valerie Page, whose flat always smelled of roses, appears in what DC movie? What does your flat smell of, Alex? Sadness and the color black. Okay. Nice. Also, lavender. I keep a couple candles around. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Hands are hopefully down. Mm -hmm. And Malcolm? I don't think this is the scene that I think about it. I put Dick Tracy. Hmm. Trevor? Get back into it. That I have, I put down Batman Forever, which is probably wrong. Uh, it, it is wrong. 
And well, I'm correct uh, about one thing. Nico? <laughs> I'm really hoping it's that lady who took ownership of the Daily Planet in Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Ah, all incorrect. Looking for V for Vendetta. That was my second guess, and yep. I should have gone with it. Damn it. That was actually my second guess, too. <laughs> All right. So that leaves us with, oh God, not this again. Star Trek. Ha, okay. Not a, <laughs> not a huge Trekkie, uh, Trevor? <laughs> no. We, we know we have seen. Yeah, you, you have motion picture. I, I've seen the motion picture. How many other I've seen? They're overrated. There, I said it. They're not good. Bets in three. <laughs> there are a lot of them that are not good. One, uh, bets, Malcolm. I'm taking the Tony Heald approach of betting zero. <laughs> Shout out to feature presentations, Nico. I might be playing right into Malcolm's hand. I'm going one. All right, let's see what happens in Star Trek. Your question What are the names of the two splinter races from Star Trek Insurrection? This was a terrible idea on my part to bet <laughs> one. Uh, Recently bought Star Trek Insurrection. You know a splinter, by the way? Great rat. My knowledge of Star Trek will clearly show in this question. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, I didn't know what to say in this question, and you didn't really give me, like, anything to play with, so... there. Yeah, but I've never seen the Ninja Turtle. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Two. One, I don't know why I asked you to do this, David. Um, Malcolm. Note to self, put the two on a, on a string as a string against Alex, but Splinter, I put Splinter Sail on Splinter Squadron. <laughs> <laughs> Bet nothing, give me a joke answer. I love Malcolm so much. Uh, Trevor, to get back into it, potentially. I don't even know if this is what you were even close to looking for. I put down the Borg and the Klingon. Those are two Star Trek races. Those are two Star Trek races. A little bit closer. Uh, Nico. Um, the leather faces and beautiful people. <laughs> Nico has definitely s seen the movie. movie. Yeah, seen the movie, perhaps uh, a re read a review somewhere. Looking for the Sona and the Baku, who were the Absolutely. leather people and the <laughs> people. Yeah, that's true. So Nico was right. He played was... right into Malcolm ha Malcolm's hand, losing a point and giving Malcolm the lead. At this point, okay, I'm please, just a spectator. Please tell me Star Wars is coming up again soon. I can tell you what the next category is. Middle Earth. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> He's from there. He's from there. <laughs> All right. If if Malcolm's going to make a play. It seems, like, it seems like someone who will be on some kind uh, of... I have a couple of friends who will kill me if I miss a Middle Earth question, which I already have. So, all right. All right. So, bets, Malcolm. I bet two. Nico. Okay. Zero. <laughs> and Trevor trying to get back into it. Yep. Still trying. All right, in Middle Earth. What age begins as the Return of the King ends? Oh, I think I know this. Holy crap. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Ages <laughs> in Middle Earth. Very they... long. Oh, seriously, so long. Well, oh, yeah, long. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Malcolm? I might be misremembering. I put fourth age. Nico? I almost put Transformers Age of Extinction, but chose not to. <laughs> and Trevor? I think it's the fourth age. It is the fourth age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trevor, back into it. Oh, okay, I have a point now. Mission accomplished. <laughs> All well, right. Uh, well, I said if Malcolm was going to make a play, it might be here. Uh, and I... Did you like that last question, guys? Huh? Did you like that, that last question? Yeah, guys? I hope you liked that last category, because we're staying in Middle Earth. <laughs> Yay! The... <laughs> 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 
Uh, this is 44, or uh, we have, including this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven questions left. So I still have no chance. Cool. Uh, I'm going Man. zero again and letting the dog outside. Okay. Malcolm Betts. Uh, I'm sticking with two. Okay. Yeah, and Trevor. Pretty sure that last one was a fluke. I'm going zero. Okay. Oh. Okay. Don't know why, but. All right, so I Alex. Believe yep. Your question. Dane Ironfoot is lord of what region? Okay, so Alex, where will the goth mob live? What where will the goth mob in Middle Earth? No, well, not really. In general. Oh. Your New basement. York. Oh, New York. Okay. Yeah. In your basement? I mean, I live in Nashville, so no. <laughs> My summer home in New York. Ben's down. Nico? Nothing. Trevor? I think this is a place, Gondor. It is a place. That is a place. And oh. um, Michael? Um, I put the northern region. Ah, looking for the Iron Hills. Nah, he's Iron Foot, makes sense. Okay. And with that, Malcolm loses the points that Middler gave him. So, Nico, no, no harm done, I guess. I think you're right. We might be going to a decision here. Your next category Wizarding World. <laughs> he's, a, he's written so many matches for that category. God. I mean, anyone would think Wizarding World is my biggest strength. Well, to be fair, we did have two Star Wars questions back to back, so. <laughs> Bets. Malcolm? I'm taking a chance at going five. Ooh, wow. Wow. Zip. Trevor? Yeah, why not? I'll bet one. Okay. Okay. Nico? Well, uh, I am going to... I'm I'm going zero. I want to see Malcolm. All right. So I want to see what Malcolm does here. Who does Harry have a vision of Voldemort torturing in Deadly Hallows, Part One? Hmm. David, if you have to torture somebody, anybody in the Wizarding World franchise, I think I know this one. There you go, Trevor. Who Me? like torture? Yeah. Dolores Umbridge. Oh, ah, that's it. boring. You're a boring answer. It's basic. Maybe that or Severus Snape. Probably. Not a Snape fan. Okay. No. He's not terrible. I mean, fair enough. Five. No means no. <laughs> yes. Yes, actually. Three, two, one. Uh, starting with Nico. I just put down his parents. Trevor? Is it Mr. Weasley uh, by chance? I can't accept that. And uh, Malcolm? Oh, you're thinking. It's one of two in my head. I put Grigorovich. David? The answer is Ollivander. Sure, yeah. So did I just take the lead? Okay. Yeah. I think. Although, doesn't... um, I mean, yeah, I, know, I know there's no challenge. Doesn't he see a vision of Gregorovich at some stage? Yeah. Well? Yeah, he does turn... Yeah. Yeah. There is a flashback in the first... Yeah. He... Yeah. I think we have to give Malcolm the points there, Alex. I'm more than happy doing that. You are my you're my wizarding world expert. Yeah, I mean as soon as I as soon as I, I, I read Gregorovich, I was like, ah, I think that we have to give the points to Malcolm. More than happy. Yeah, it's a completely different movie, so it doesn't matter for me. <laughs> well so close. So close, Nico. So close. You know who's close to winning this match is Malcolm. Yeah, you just have to go five and you will have done it. In your next category, which is DC movie. So go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I don't oh, think it's going to be something about Swamp Thing, isn't it? 
<laughs> I'm still gonna hold on to the fact that I won round one and <laughs> honestly against this crew, I actually think that is a, a huge victory for you, Trevor. Eliminating David in the free for all. <laughs> David. Uh, <laughs> now this. Uh yeah. I'm building. I'm much younger than all of you, so that's my excuse. Better hair than most of us as well. That is okay. true. All okay, right, nice. Yes. Malcolm? Um, I'm not taking a chance of zero. <laughs> and Nico? I'm kind of in a position where I have to. Uh, so I'm going three. Okay. I love Whatever. this question. Trying to get back into it. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> I have to say, I love this question, by the way. Sure. Uh, great. I think they're going to hate it, is the problem. Your okay. question. What is the only non-Batman DC movie to be released in the 90s? That hollowed cannon that we established earlier is garbage. Oh, shoot. Quick countdown. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, pens are hopefully down, and we go to Malcolm for known points. Is it Return of Swamp Thing? Ah, that's that's Maybe. 89. Trevor. It was Steel in 1997. That is the correct year. Yes, Steel. Wonderful. And Nico. The original Iron Man with a basketball player, Steel. Yep, well right. done for three points, I believe. For three points. And one of Kevin Smith's favorite bad movies to watch, apparently. Well, Trevor remember. back into it. And actually, this is really interesting because we have one, two, three, four questions left. And your next category is in comic book adaptations. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> See, it'd be logical for me to bet a point, but that's just basically giving myself zero again. I want to at least end this with a point. That's fair. Okay, that's fair. But you have another, you have another three questions. So, who knows? Mm. Beth, Malcolm. Um, zero. <laughs> Nico. I'm going to try and slowly climb my way back up in hopes that one of the last questions is Star Wars, but I'm going one here. Um, Trevor? Zero. Ah, okay. And your question. In comic book adaptations, Two Guns stars Academy Award winner Denzel Washington and what Academy Award nominated actor? The movie Two Guns, because... I don't know if I said it right. I said it too fast. Two guns. Two guns. Denzel Washington. Why did I not beat? <laughs> I actually love this freaking movie. It's so fun. Yeah. I literally just watched this yesterday. Oh, Malcolm. Breaking my heart. My, my answer is either right or it's going to make you laugh. Or both. Yeah, I can do both. Either it's wrong or it's wrong. Sure. Uh, in five, four, three, two, one. Pens are a down. Malcolm, I think you have it. It's um not a cop, Mark Wahlberg. Mm-hmm. No. And Trevor. Yeah, my wrong answer is Brad Pitt. We're just gonna move on. Fair enough. Nico, not a confident look. Dennis Quaid. Ah. So Nico goes down. Back down it's to 12. A four point gap. And Trevor didn't bet, so it's a four point yeah, gap. Yeah, yeah, one point. And your next category is scores and soundtracks. Ah, uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we need the sound clip of that. <laughs> Yep. 
every time it's a bit of all guns, it's a clip you play in the background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need a soundboard. That's exactly what I need. Now. <laughs> so, bets in three, two, one, Malcolm. Zero. Shocker. Nico. Also zero. Ooh. Okay, and Trevor? Why not? I'll bet one. I'll risk losing the point. Fair enough. I think they're scared. They're starting to get a little scared of the questions. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Can't imagine why. Thank Your you so question. Much. Excuse me. What song is the first to be played when Tony and Rhodey fight in Iron Man 2? That is actually a nice question, by the way. Good job. Thank you. I do this all for the compliments. David, if you and I were going to fight. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is that and... a in Spanish? Five. Like gasolina? Oh. You know, bumming oh. gasoline, you know? Yeah. I was going to say yakety sacks. Three, two, one. And pens are down. Uh, Malcolm? Back in black. Trevor? I took a guess. Is it TNT? And Nico? I realize this isn't an ACDC song, but another one bites the dust. Nico is correct. It is. Another one bites the dust. The do, one do, do, time I do, don't do, bet do, on this category. Do, 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 wow. <laughs> and back to zero. Yeah, everyone else going with uh, ACDC. I mean, I say bet for Iron Man, but... Yep. All right. Malcolm's still in yeah. the lead. Uh, two questions goal left. Goal is we stay in the MCU. Oh, okay. Marvel Cinematic Universe MCU. Four points. Nico has to do something, maybe. I think he's hoping for a Star Wars question. Who knows? He's got to try and close this gap a little bit. Mm. No matter what. Bets. Malcolm. Uh, I'm just going one. And uh, Nico? As you said, I'm going to try and uh, bridge this gap a little bit. Five. Whoa, oh, wow. It's hey. time. And Trevor trying to get back into it. Yeah, hopefully. Your question. What line of Tony Starks is played when Peter Parker is stuck underneath debris in Spider-Man Homecoming? And yes, we need the quote. Wow. Alex, if you were stuck underneath the bridge, what line what would you hear in your head? You're going to die and it's all your fault? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whose fault? Uh, mine, probably. Okay. Well, what could you do? Let the gas open? No, I'd probably just die. Be like, I deserve this somehow. and then. No, I mean, to be stuck underneath anyway. Five. Four, three, two, one. Bends down. Malcolm? I don't know. I put I am Iron Man. That's a line from Tony Stark. Nico? If you're nothing without the suit, then you shouldn't have it. And Trevor? I have the same. If you're nothing without the suit, then you shouldn't have it. For five. Big points for Mr. Nico. Trevor, back into it as well. Whew. Well, that's a big swing because oh, Malcolm also lost one point. So that's Ooh, how we are. Okay. It's getting interesting at the top. So, Nico, I'm not going to lie. You could, in theory, take the domination win. Yep. You could also. <laughs> could also blow it. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> just saying you could also blow it. It's it's just facts. Uh, the category that will decide, DCEU. See, I want a better point, but I also want to keep a point. I, I don't know. I'm happy with my point. 
I want to at least have something I mean, to show for. Marco has to be wondering what is Nico going to do? Yeah. So am I. Malcolm, are you gonna bet five? <laughs> what I'm makes you think like... I think I know what he's gonna do. Bets in three, mm. two, one. Trevor, did you bet the point? No, no, of course I didn't. No. Fair enough. <laughs> Nico, how many points are you betting? I think I know where Malcolm's going, and I want there to be no doubt as to who won this. So I'm gonna risk it all and go five. Here Whoa. we go. All right. So Malcolm, Malcolm has his own bet. <laughs> how many um, points are you? I- I'm just being free. All right. <laughs> All or nothing. Nico going this is big. I'm excited. Win. Your question, the last one of this match. Which of Billy's siblings is the first to notice their new powers in Shazam? A few repeats left on the board if you need them. It's been so long since I've seen this movie. So glad I didn't bet a point. Very happy with my one. I'm very happy with, with your performance here today, Trevor. In five, four, three, two, one. No repeats. All right. Pens are down. Trevor. I don't know. I put down Freddy. Is that even a character? It is a character. Freddy is a character. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nico. I also went Freddy. And Malcolm. Is it Dala? And your winner, by way of domination, it is Nico <laughs> Suave Regoli. I could have actually gotten a point there. Oh, okay. Yep. The correct Congrats, answer. Nico. Freddie Friedman, well done. 22 oh, points. Yep. Not even on a Star Wars question. Well done, Nico. Nice job. <sighs> okay. If there's one thing I've learned from this match, it's that I really got to brush up on the fantasy stuff because I know the comic book stuff to an extent, at least the big two brands uh, and their extensions. I know Star Wars inside and out. It's the fantasy stuff that keeps getting me. Fair enough. Something to look forward to. An improved Nico always happening. Trevor, how do you feel? First, like, full-length match? I'm happy with my singular point. I mean, I, I did the best in round one. That's wasn't true. happy with. Uh, and then, you know, a normal three-round Schmodern style match. Who knows? But, uh, no, this was, I definitely enjoyed the format. Just need to learn how to bet a lot better. Uh, need to figure that out, but I'll just, I'll keep on working on stuff and studying and hopefully, hopefully getting better. But yeah, I feel like I did fine. Great. And Malcolm came up a little bit short today. Second place. Uh, how do you feel? Um, ultimately I feel good. Like, um, DCU is one of those ones, which, um, is, it can either go so deep or so, um, light, it, with the things is like uh, there's really no in between there but it's like I'm not disappointed with my loss I managed I um, I took big chances where I it counted um, and I made Nico sweat a little bit so uh, that's my mission accomplished well you certainly did do that David you've been a tester on some of these documents before what do you think of everybody's performance I mean I think you got to learn how to play as the match was, uh, at, at the, as the match advanced, because yeah. figuring the figuring the format out is the key to win. Knowing when to bet, how to bet, and what to bet is the key. And Nico started doing that as soon when we as soon as he was far away behind, he started actually playing really, really good. And I think that's and the and the last swings. That's what he's what saved him. So, congratulations to Nico. He actually played really well in the ending of the match. So, 
It also yeah. helped that you eventually said how many questions were left in the game. <laughs> and that's when I realized, okay, here's the math <laughs> that I need to do in my head now. This isn't going to work. This will. Let's take the gamble here. Let's not take the gamble there. And um, yeah, math. Yeah, I still it's- didn't figure out how to bet at all. So I'm sorry I let you down, David. <laughs> uh, I guess it just makes you look worse, though. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. With that weird <laughs> insult, <laughs> what a burn! Yeah. What a burn! <laughs> oh, so goodness. actually, I just threw the mat so that way David would look terrible. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, wiping the tear out of my eye. Oh my god. All right. Well, that's enough from from us, from all of us. Uh, this was the first, hopefully not the last Geek Challenge Cup. Uh, hopefully, other people want to play this format. Uh, I hope other people like this format. We'll see what happens. Uh, <laughs> for David, Malcolm, Trevor, and today's Geek Challenge Cup winner, the first of his kind, Nico Suave Regoli. I am Alex, and we will see you the very next time we face off.